Hello guys, welcome to the new video. So in today videos, we are going to discuss a new project. So today project name is e-learning platform, and this project is made up in a Java and MySQL. And uh, details of this project, the feature of this project is admin, lecturer, technician, and the student. We have the four modules in this project. And if you want to download this project, you can check the description of this video. And now I will start the project demonstration. Here's in uh, database all the files that we have used for this or in the data. So all these data uh, database tables in these these database are connected with the front end using a MySQL. I'm using a XAMPP server to store the data. You can use at MySQL or any other database. But I'm comfortable with the my XAMPP server, so I mostly use the XAMPP server. I'm using a NetBeans to uh, run this project you can use Eclipse also or any other IDs for running this project uh, like first I will start this project and uh, yeah first I will start this project from the main file now it's running the project now first it will load all the modules and connect it with the database and when all this connection is successfully then it will start our project so here it will display the first uh, first panel like you need to log in to enter in the system as I'm entering in uh, the system as an admin so I enter the admin credentials at the rate gmail.com and admin so I enter as an admin as admin what I can do I have an four options to manage the courses user manage notifications and timetable so as an admin I can manage these four things I can add the courses I can uh, I can remove any users or I can add the users I can add the notification I can add the timetables or I can add my profile also if I want to add my profile so I can click on the admin edit and then here I can add uh, our name email password what I want to add I can add now I just click on the timetable here the icon display all the notification so currently we have used the four notifications and now I will add another notification so it will show here this notification icon will display in all the four modules for the students for the uh, for the lecturers and for the teachers so first I add the timetables uh, like I add uh, uh, title just add the title then I select the department I select the department and then browse the PDF so what I need to do just I need to add any PDF I just add a test PDF here and then select and then insert it will add here so we have here four timetables five timetables and the title is this and here is the uh, here is a PDF file for the timetable that we have added if I want to update I can update from here if I want to remove I can remove if I want to search I can search from here so this functionality is for the timetable now the notification panel just title of the notification uh, this is for a student content what I want to add in this like I want to add this one Uh, there is a new uh, table yeah, anything I want to add you can add uh, just in test I have added a random and we can you can select uh, uh, the notification whose whom whom this notification like I, I have selected the student so this uh, this notification for this student I have to add a file for the inside the notification I just add this test PDF file and then select and then insert here this notification is added if I want to 
I download this uh, file you can download from here and the same as insert update and remove functionality is also here you can remove or delete or anything you want to add from here now if I click on the notification panel here you can see this notification has displayed here and if I click on here it will automatically download that PDF file here it's downloaded that PDF file as that PDF is all for the test so the it's it's have it's have nothing content it don't have any content so it's showing the test note file now here it's showing the five notifications similar way we can use a user if I want to add any user I can add if I want to remove any user I can remove all the user I can uh, for all the user I can do anything like there's an option if I want to add an admin I can add admin also if I want to add a technical officer lecturer or this friend I can add from here same way insert delete update and in the last here's a course option if I want to add any course like I want to add currently we have these four courses five courses and all the courses credit are display here if I want to check this I can check here and if I want to edit or delete anything I can delete also from here so this is the admin panel we have the four options for the admin admin can do all the things admin have the full authorities now I log out from here and just open the as a, as a technician so I need a credential so what I do I check for the credentials here and I will log in as a lecturer so I will use this email and then password for this so now I have login as a lecturer same way I can edit my profile if I want to add I can update my profile and the name address date of birth or the same way I can add my image also if I want to upload my image then I need to first browse the image like I add the image uh, okay I add the image this one and then upload so it will upload the image here and I can remove also so now it will edit my image this one if I want to remove my image so I can remove there so now uh, all the student detail here all the course detail here all the marks detail here so uh, first I will check uh, what lecturer can do lecturer can uh, check all the records so here these all are students if I select for this one uh, I can search with the student ID okay if I want to search so these are the total students currently we have only less number of students so we can add and then the record will increase but I will note it and the attendance here I can check the attendance also like if I add the same user and then view so it will display all the students and the attendance that have uh, done by this user so the status is present absent in, in a theory and in a practical it will display also so this is used for the attendance purpose so for this student I have checked now I will check for the medical record for the same user if she or he have any medical record yes it have any medical record also you can download the content from here so it will display the medicals details now we can manage or we can mark so this is on the another module of this uh, this uh, this project we can calculate the marks we can calculate the 
attendance we can calculate the final record also we can add the quiz C A marks the quiz 1 quiz 2 and if you don't want to add then we can final marks we can add from here view marks if I want to check the marks of the student so it will display here and if I as if I log in as a student so the same way the it will show me as a student also so these are the four modules in this project if you are interested in this project I can show only two but I you can check two also at your end after downloading this project this project is for the college based and uh, we have used in this project is a Java and in a backend in MySQL and for the more details about this project you can check this website I will provide the link of this website in the description so thank you for watching this video have a good day if you are interested in this project you can download this project from the uh, from the link that I have provided in the description